everybody welcome to chemistry concept and today we will be talking about the rate law so first we will tell what is the rate law so according to chemical kinetics and uh, chemistry the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants with power something say x and that is the order of reaction or here it is the stoichiometry in general in reactions uh, this will be the stoichiometry of the reactant so suppose we having a reaction called a plus b is going to give c plus t so according to the rate of reaction the rate of reaction will be directly proportional to the rate the concentration of the a with power x that is the coefficient stoichiometric coefficient and and also the concentration since we having two reactants so the also the concentration of b is with power y so this is the rate of reaction the x plus y is it the order of the reaction so in what is the order of reaction you can say the sum of the stoichiometry in rate law so order of reaction is the sum of stoichiometry in rate law and if you are going to remove this proportional so you will get one proportionality constant k so this k is known as rate constant and the x plus y is the order of reaction and it is the sum of stoichiometric coefficient that is the order of reaction so according to rate of reaction the rate is given by this and this is the rate constant if you have any doubt please comment I think this topic is clear to you so for example we will see that we having H2O2 when it is going to decompose what we will get we will get H2O plus oxygen so according to rate law what will be the rate according to rate law rate will be equal to K that is the constant of proportionality or the rate constant and the concentration of H2O2 and here it will be 1 so this is the rate rate of reaction here and K is the rate constant and this is the order of reaction so this is the example for a rate of reaction 